Unbelievably, some monkeys are so bizarre that you can't help but be amazed. These peculiar primates put the normality of regular monkeys to shame and make for a truly captivating sight. Yes, these surely are strange monkeys that will leave you in awe. Number 7. The Gelada The red triangle on the front of a Gelada kind of seems like all the monkeys are part of some kind of secret society. The Gelada Society. If this were really a thing, I'd definitely be one of the first people to sign up for the crew. Actually, with that being said, Gelatas live in a quite sophisticated society amongst themselves. They live in multi-level societies, actually. This society begins with the family, a stable unit of one, or a few males, two to ten females, and their dependent offspring. A whole bunch of family units then come together to form an enormous group that travels together during the day. Sometimes they can form large herds of up to 1,200 monkeys. That's the stuff of nightmares. This is one of the largest groupings of monkeys in the world. Their natural habitat is in the high mountain meadows of Ethiopia, and an aerial survey had counted about 500,000 monkeys in the area, but it was done in 1970. Since then, it's thought that the numbers have greatly increased so good for them. I'm sure that living in such a large herd helps out a lot. Number 6. The Golden Langers Now we've got a David Bowie-looking monkey on our hands. Does anybody else think that, or is it just me? The hair, the kind of stern face? These monkeys look like one of the cool monkeys of the animal kingdom. The one that everyone wants to be like and be friends with. They're kind of like that opposite in reality, though. They're very, very rare and extremely shy towards other animals. There's actually not a whole lot of information that's known about these monkeys because they were discovered relatively recently. The golden langur is commonly found along the borders between India and Bhutan, where it's learned to live in a wide range of environments and altitudes. The population's fragmented into a lot of different smaller areas and has caused some subspecies of the monkey to sprout up depending on the environment and as recently as 2003. The subspecies would actually be discovered around the Himalayas. The population of the golden langurs is very low and they're on the endangered list. Though, since their discovery, their numbers were not that high to begin with. So, it's hard to really say what the cause was beforehand, but since scientists have begun to keep track, they can contribute the recent decline to obviously deforestation. Number 5. The IA. This little guy is kind of cute, but also looks like it crawled its way out of a horror film as well. Kind of like something that would wait beneath your bed when you're trying to sleep. It would pop out and freak the hell out of you. Part squirrel, part monkey. These animals are usually found in the wilds of Madagascar and are the sole living representative of a family of animals that I cannot even try to attempt to pronounce. AAs are nocturnal animals and tend to be solitary and most of them live in rainforests in eastern Madagascar. Those scientists have found fossils in Egypt and Kenya that date back to 34 million years ago. So they say this would suggest that the ancestors of the present-day AA originated in Africa before then flocking to Madagascar. Known for their unique hand structure, these little monkeys sport spider leg, like fingers with an exceptionally third long finger. They usually measure about 40 centimeters long excluding their bushy squirrel-like tail. And if I saw one of them running around in the trees in my backyard, I'd probably freak out, then maybe try to cuddle it while freaking out at the same time. I know it's a weird combo of emotions. I got issues. Number four. The Dusky Leaf Monkey Oh, my goodness! This is definitely the cutest monkey on our list, hands down, no competition. It literally looks like a little baby or something, but that is a fully grown one. Let's look at one of the babies, though, and my goodness, I can't handle how cute it is. Ugh! These cutie patooties are found magically on Malay Peninsula, which includes few parts of Thailand and southern Burma. Though they prefer the tops of trees, these little guys have also been found in urban forests and in parks and cities among the plethora of other places. Because they live up high in the trees, the monkeys don't really have many predators except certain snakes that can climb from time to time. And of course, humans as well. But this is not only because of deforestation. People actually eat these things. They eat these cute little buggers. I mean, I get that you guys are hungry, but spare these ones at least consider going vegetarian. Now, I know life can be pretty hard sometimes and you just have to eat what's available, but they're so cute. Number three, the Colobane monkey. 
Now this monkey just looks like crap compared to the utter adorableness of our last one. Oh, the Calabinae are a subfamily of the Old World monkey family and have been split into two separate tribes. While other scientists have split them into three, the whole family tree for this family of monkeys. Pretty complicated. So, I'll just leave it that way for now. There are two big forms of this monkey. The first is the Asian Presbyteen, and the second is the African Calabinae. The African version of the monkey is the closest living relative to the ape. Both of these types are able to live in a large variety of habitats that range from rainforests to swampy marshes. Though, none of them are able to live in a desert or a dry climate. Calabinae are average-sized monkeys with long tails, having a big mix of different types of fur colors, and when they're young, their fur color is very different than when they get older. But how long do they actually live? Well, about 20 years for both the male and the female. And I need to say it again for everyone in case you didn't hear me the last 12 times. Humans are the ones endangering the animal. So, everyone gets on it. Number 2. Cirilli. For the next monkey on our list, we have the Cirilli. They live in the Thai Malay Peninsula on Sumatra and in Borneo. And I'm sorry, can we stop for a second? Can we just have one last look at the Dusky Leaf Monkey? Put a photo of the Dusky Leaf Monkey on the screen. A cute one. Yeah, that's the stuff doesn't say I never did anything for you guys. You're welcome. Now, back to the Shirili, which also goes by the nickname, the Leaf Monkey. What a coincidence. Why is that you guessed well it's because they eat leaves and also fruits and seeds and stuff. The Shirili, like many other monkeys, spend the majority of their lives in trees, though their groups can be pretty large as well, with a maximum of 20 monkeys and up to one group. A few species of the Shirili have been observed to be monogamous, though scientists think that this could be because of the decrease in their habitat size. Within the groups, they developed hierarchies using postural and vocal communication to arrange themselves. And they just look so funny when they posture though. Number 1. Simang. Oh, here we go. What a dapper looking fellow. These monkeys look like they have a split French haircut. Very charming indeed. Simangs are found in Malaysia, Thailand, and on the island of Sumatra in Indonesia. They live in tropical forests and have been known to once again have a very monogamous relationship style. In fact, the Siamang male and female who are in a couple have been known to sing together and not only to sing, but to harmonize. The duets that sound the best are the ones that have been together the longest of course, probably because they have the most practice. All those late nights with a bottle of wine, doing karaoke, the newly paired monkeys will actually train with one another in order to nail it down. So, they're dapper, talented, and sophisticated. Very nice, my Siamang friends. It's also thought that they sing in order to announce their territory, as well as the new family that they have. In order to really get their song out into the forest, they have an inflatable throat sack that really ups the volume. That'd be so cool to see a chore of Siamangs with an orchestra. Something, wouldn't it be? Though we've seen many, a cool, interesting, and apparently talented monkeys. The winner of this monkey list goes to the Dusky Leaf, of course. Which of these monkeys do you think should be crowned top monkey? Let me know in the comments below. Also check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.